Hello, my fellow researchers. It is a great pleasure to be here with you today to present this article from Animal Traction to Light Rail Vehicle, Public Rail Transportation in Rio de Janeiro. First of all, I would like to say thanks to the International Journal of Science and Research for this opportunity and to present myself. My name is Murilo Dias. I am the co-author of this article. Uh, I got my, my, my doctorate in business administration from Hans School of Business in France and I co-author with André Telles, which is, a, which is a, a lawyer in Brazil, um, a master in, uh, in law, is LLM, and a current um, doctor, doctoral student. Therefore, we decided to investigate in a case study which units of analysis is the VLT Carioca, VLT Carioca, which is the light rail vehicle, as we call here in Brazil. First of all, Rio de Janeiro was the former capital of Brazil from 1763 to 1960. After this period, uh, Brasilia is the, the current capital since then. Well, in our abstract, we say that we investigated the, the LRV and uh, it was originally designed to integrate ne other network models such as rail and waterways, uh, of course bus as well. Today it intercon interconnects bus, lines, rail, water, metro and the other bus system called BRT, Bus Rapid Transit, cruise lines even cable cars within a city of approximately 7 million people. The powered animal traction system was launched first in the 19th century, precisely in 1859, substituted by steam and, and late by uh, the electrical vehicles. It was extinct, the former system, the tram network system, was extinct in 19, 1963, uh, and the tramway network was then substituted for bus lines, a disastrous decision for public transportation in Rio de Janeiro. But in 2016, for the Olympics, the newly RILV system began transporting up, was inaugurated, and the, 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 the civil works started in 2012 and took approximately four years to be delivered. It was the, 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 uh, the, there were three lines uh, delivered in, in different times and the line number one was inaugurated in 2016 for the Olympics and the last line uh, was delivered in December 2018 one month after this article being published Therefore, this single case study presents the story of the tramway system in Rio de Janeiro as well as featuring the analysis and discussion of network transportation in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. As you can see here in figure 1, the VLT or the RV system is concentrated in this area. This is a central area in Rio de Janeiro. All right? Here you can see metro, bus lines, metro, train, here we have the harbor here connecting cruise lines and the seashore here, as you can see. All right. Our, uh, th this case, as you can see in research methods and limitations, it is a case study in which VLT Carioca is the, is the main, uh, um, the main uh, unit of analysis. All right. Well, as you can see here before this, figure three, the, the first tram system was a power, uh, uh, powered by animal traction, as you can see here. This is this downtown Rio de Janeiro, all right? And then it moved to electric, first steam, then electric powered trams. This is uh, this photo is approximately 1950s, 50s. All right. Well, 
the tramway routes, the, 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 the old ones, uh, it was here. Uh, the, the, the current VLT network is a fraction today of the 2,250 kilometers of line existing in 1940 carry 1.5 billion passengers per year or in 4,200 passenger cars 50% operated by Canadian companies all right about 900 British and Brazilian uh, the, the all the rest there were 30,000 employees in these companies at that time in other words we had a public transportation based on trams which was very, very uh, famous in Brazil until 1960. And then one governor, Carlos Lacerda, uh, took a, a decision at, the ta at the, his time. He was considered uh, to be in an avant-garde decision, which proved to be disastrous, because he decided unilaterally to extinguish all trams in Rio de Janeiro. They were revamped relaunched in 2014 and in this between only buses bus liners were uh, built and were expanded in the network therefore on May 21 1963 the old trams were extinct only one line was kept as a piece de resistance as a as a live museum which is Santa Teresa. Santa Teresa is a, a, a hill uh, very close to, to Rio de Janeiro's downtown. And uh, you can find uh, the last uh, uh, tracks and, and uh, bondages, which was the last trams, old trams, uh, electrical powered. Well, regarding the new project, as we can see here, the new in, in figure C, six, you can see the lines one, two, and three, right? Uh, there was a consortium formed in 2014 to address, uh, as per uh, bidding process, uh, to a, in April 2013, uh, a consortium called VLT Carioca, here in figure five, as you can see that five companies they integrated the consortium to build the VLT Carioca. Well, line one started on June 2016. Line two connects Praça 15 uh, from Novo Rio Interstate Bus Station, comprising 12 stops. Therefore, the VLT Carioca integrated uh, losing, losing, losing points in the public transportation in Rio de Janeiro, especially in downtown. Now you can go from the Santos Dumont Airport to Rodoviária to Metro through VLT. Let's, let's talk about the, the, the trains and about the companies. Uh, Alston, French company, train company Alston, produced uh, Citadis 402. VLTs from Brazil from Rio de Janeiro to Rio de Janeiro, in which the 32 compositions, the trams compositions, five uh, were built at La Rochelle, France, later shipped to Brazil, and 27 were built in Taubaté, São Paulo state, which is um, 500 kilometers away from Rio de Janeiro. All right? This is the train, as you can see here in figure 8. Awesome Citadis 402, all right? Uh, the tram, each tram has 44 meters long, all right? Uh, with a capacity, passenger capacity of 4,000, oh, I'm sorry, 415 passengers, and an average speed of 15 kilometers, and a maximum speed of 50 kilometers per hour. Uh, as you can see here, in the figure nine, this is the final point. Here is the Santos Dumont Airport. I took this picture in a sunny day here to, to show you um, how the power supply system, how it is. Well, uh, the Citadis 402 is one of the most modern trams existing in the entire world. 
it does not use airline network supply network it is too everything is uh, the electrical uh, uh, power supply is track is based on tracking systems and capacitors all right the APS called APS system from um, Alstom here I present you in table one a comparison between Metro and VLT Carioca all right well VLT Carioca has a pass passenger capacity of 70,000 passengers per day while Metro Hill the subway our subway has a capacity of 850,000 passengers transported per day in 32 compositions well one interesting thing is about the standard the gauge well as a French company uh, they don't produce anything no trains uh, with gauge different from the standard one which is uh, 1432 millimeters but a uh, metro was built by uh, an Irish company which has a gauge of 16,000, 1600 millimeters. All right. Uh, the number of trains in VLT Carioca is 32, and 180 by the metro, the subway. The line extension, as you can see, here, is almost four times um, uh, more extens than than the in metro than the VLT Carioca, and the speed is about 15 kilometers per hour and metro carioca is a uh, metro subway is about uh, 80 kilometers per hour all right uh, as we can see here vlt carioca integrates metro with bus lines with cruise lines and with the uh, other railway way system it is important to say that to you that Rio de Janeiro now is well served and a curiosity here about VLT Carioca is this the cost, the total cost was at the time 1.2 billion reais approximately 400 million dollars VLT Carioca to be built by the same time Maracanã Stadium, football stadium, the famous Maracanã Stadium uh, was built by 1.2 billion reais, the same price and uh, now the, the, the stadium capacity is re was reduced from 200,000 people to 70,000 people per day the same capacity of VLT Carioca right? well, that, that's it uh, we discussed how important the, the 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 tram, the new tram system is 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 to Rio de Janeiro public transportation, and from bondes to RLVs there are roughly 100 years of evolution. Yeah, within this period the traffic enlarged more than 100 times, new population more than 20 times. Today we have uh, approximately 7 million people living in Rio de Janeiro. Nevertheless, the VLT proved to be the right choice to passenger transportation in Janeiro. This is our conclusion, as complementary one integrated to other models of public transportation. The tramway system actually reduced the number of private vehicles in streets and downtown Rio de Janeiro as well, and reducing the pollution. Connects properly train hubs, subway and waterways and proven to be a reasonable alternative to the former bus dependence and therefore optimizes the public transportation system. Of course, the trains are much more uh, silent than the buses. Finally, after 100 years of changes in the public transportation in Rio, the objective of collectivization of human mobility has been achieved. It also preserved the historic landscape from Rio de Janeiro, from the city of Rio de Janeiro. Well, I would like to say thank you to you all for your, your uh, consideration in accepting this paper for publication in this journal. 
which was uh, a great, um, we are very honored to participate in this uh, video conference. So therefore, I would like to express our thanks to the International Journal of Science and Research for this opportunity. In my name, Professor Murilo Dias and Professor André Correa Telles. Thank you for, for your, um, your assistance. Thank you for everything and see you on next videos.